What up, y'all? Welcome to another episode. You know what I'm saying? I'm your host, Malice Black. And uh, today we're here with Zach from Cannabossum. Yes, say that right? you, yes, sir. All thank right. you for having me here today for sure. Um, we're doing a CBD uh, only products, kind of breaking into uh, this growing uh, industry that's just getting a lot of press as they do more and more clinical research that shows um, its wide range of applications. So what got you all started in basically into CBD? Well, you know, I've been doing a little bit of work in like medical marijuana. <laughs> Uh, for a little while, um, sort of direct service caregiver work um, with some people with multiple sclerosis, uh, fibromyalgia, um, and other nerve disorders. And there's been this growing demand within the small community of people that I work with for CBDs um, and CBD heavy and CBD only products um, in the last, I don't know, year, year and a half. And so I've been watching that trend and watching this industry grow watching sort of the clinical data mount and um, I mean it just seemed like the natural next next move for us you know really being able to go nationwide all 50 states and being able to reach people even in communities that don't necessarily have safe access for medical marijuana. For those who don't know what CBD is do you want to explain? Sure CBD is, uh, is a cannabinoid that is uh, produced by the hemp and cannabis plants. Uh, the, the CBD that we work with all comes from Colorado grown uh, hemp, so it's not the kind that comes from the cannabis plant, although there really isn't a distinction between them molecularly and the way that they work in your body. And what CBD is getting a lot of recognition recently for is this neuro um, protective, neuro, uh, potentially re regenerative, and some digestive and other benefits, basically, that work within our internal endocannabinoid system, which is, you know, basically the way the body regulates all of, or the way that we think the body regulates all of your body's hormone production, metabolic processes, neurological processes inside, on a cellular level inside, you know, That's our bodies. That is that's insane. I never even thought thought of it that way at all. Like, <laughs> it's pretty ridiculous. That's, that's that's insane. It's pretty fascinating. But basically, what they're finding is that supplemental cannabinoids is something that not only you know every human being on the planet can benefit from right. uh, harmlessly, <laughs> but uh, that every mammal you know really can benefit from your dog, your that's cat. True. So we've got a couple of products I brought. We were just drinking some of these um, drink, this, this drink, Fragrant Cane Roots and Fruits, um, which is a CBD brew drink that um, basically we took from my dad's recipe from the Caribbean islands that he's been making for like 20 years. And in addition to having the healing benefits of the CBD, it's also got all these incredible herbs and roots that are um, basically infused in this brew over a period of about three weeks. So it's got sarsaparilla root, um, which is a perennial trailing vine with prickly stems that is native to Central America and the islands. Its modern uses uh, claim that it's effective for eczema, psoriasis, arthritis, herpes, leprosy, along with a variety of other ailments. <laughs> Some of you folks out there. <laughs> Some yeah, of you freaks know, out there. Yeah, y'all, y'all know, yeah. Might want to holler okay. at Zach here for the cure. <laughs> it. It's got, seriously, good shit, though. And, and it also was the base, has been a base of Caribbean-style drinks for, you know, hundreds of years. Um, just because it's got a really good kind of flavor, tangy, recognizable flavor. A lot of people that have been to the islands or been to the tropical places. Yeah, for sure. Some little diagnostic shot, uh, you know, chart that shows uh, some of the potential applications for the ingredients. <laughs> of course, you know, we are not trying to uh, diagnose, treat, or cure any illness. You know, like any claims like that. We're really just trying to make CBD products and products with really good, wholesome, and well-sourced ingredients available to people that want them. So we've got a topical that we uh, we make from hand, and this is really special. Um, you know, I actually infused the coconut oil that we use for this with uh, chamomile blossoms, calendula petals, comfrey leaves, and arnica flowers. 
And these plants have been shown to have really incredible anti-inflammatory, analgesic, um, pain relieving um, benefits as well. And it's amazing, zits, hair, stretch marks. Physical pain, muscle pain, joint yeah, pain, every... you know, arthritis. We, we, um, we've seen people use it for just a number of, you know, localized, direct applications. Um, and it's, you know, it's made with mango butter, uh, organic mango butter, and uh, some vitamin E. And then it's, we're doing two flavors. One's rosemary and mint. And then the other one is rosewood, uh, lavender, and ylang So that's more of relaxing. Come in two sizes. We've got like a three ounce salve stick. And then we've got the uh, 40 milliliter, which is just over an ounce. Um, sad. And so the stick comes with 300 milligrams of, of uh, CBD. And then the uh, smaller one comes with 100 milligrams. We also got some gummy products, which we've been working on. So you see actually two, you know, the past and the future. <laughs> and then we've got a long uh, way to go ahead of us too, because we're going to be developing a vegan product very soon, as well as a sugar-free one, right? That doesn't have any added sugar for people that are trying to keep their, their sugar intake down. But right as it stands right now, we're not using any artificial colors or flavors, and we're using grass-fed um, gelatin that has a complete amino profile, <coughs> one of the essential amino acids that your body needs. So where can uh, people go to purchase your product? Right now, we are sold at Nourish Organic Juice Bar in downtown Colorado Springs. Um, they carry our juice drink. Um, and then we will be launching in a few other locations around Colorado Springs and Denver in the coming weeks. You can check out our website for a full list of retailers that we'll be keeping updated. Contact us for, for purchases um, that we can mail to you. Yeah. Basically, you know, all 50 streets. So. Cannabossip.com. <laughs> thanks, thanks a lot for for having me on the show. You know, you know, we just we're just we feel really blessed to be um, getting such positive recognition and such positive press so early on in our journey. Yeah, I'm satisfied with what we're trying. Yeah, thanks, guys. And uh, I'm gonna give a shout out to Monica. Monica's punchies. Thank you. Bye bye. Nice to record here. No, always, <laughs> always helping us out, and uh, of course Rob Griefer as well. Shout out to Highest Kites, April and Mike. All right, you're doing the heck. Thanks for being here. And yeah, it's another episode. You know what I'm saying? Post mouth black, quantity on the camera, cornbread, blood and guts. We out. I got the palm in that. Something like a sports almanac. The homie P here. <laughs>